Now, where people get stuck is, I would really suggest you to watch my playlist around self-concept. People think they're worthy, okay, at a surface level. People think they're worthy. Now, I want you to understand this mind of yours, okay, it's divided into two parts, your conscious mind and your subconscious mind. And these two things can believe different things, okay? These two things can have different kind of foundation around different kind of topics. So at a surface level, at a conscious level, yes, you might, because this is what everyone wants to believe and achieve that, yes, you are worthy of success, abundance, true love, everything. Everyone wants this, okay? Everyone wants to become worthy of it, wants to be deserving of it. So at a conscious level, yes, you might know that I am a good person. I am worthy, I'm deserving, I work hard, I am caring, I am loving, okay? I have really good qualities to become a good partner or to manage and handle wealth and success, right? But just because you say it at a surface level or you know it, like you want this to be your ultimate truth and your conscious mind is also aware of that, your subconscious mind might believe something else altogether. This is where people get stuck. At a conscious level, right now I'm saying I'm worth it. But is it really, is this fact really deep, deeply rooted in my subconscious mind? Your conscious mind and your subconscious mind do not have the same kind of opinions and beliefs all the time around the same topic. Okay? Because of your experiences in your life, because of your past patterns and behaviors, relationships, the way you have been brought up, your environment, you might not believe that you will receive the kind of love that you want. For some reason, you might not believe it because you have never experienced being with a good partner. You have never experienced having a good, healthy relationship. You have had a bad, unhealthy, toxic pattern when it comes to males or females entering your life. So your subconscious mind will see what you have experienced in your life emotionally, physically, mentally, okay? It will not go on what you're just saying with your mouth, your tongue, your words, okay? For it, the proof, the evidence, the actual things that have happened is necessary. When you have gone through bad relationships, your emotional, mental state has taken on those kind of things. Those are deeply rooted in your subconscious mind. So even though we know we have gone through bad phases, we are a good person. But we keep accepting, okay, this is also one part. We keep accepting the same kind of people in our life. Whether we think they will change or we'll change them or they seem different at the beginning and now they're different. Even we are at fault if we keep allowing those people after seeing the reality to remain in our life. That gives a confirmation to our subconscious mind that, you know, this is how it is for me. This is what I'm comfortable with. This is what my subconscious mind already knew. Now, again, with the same kind of person entering my life, I have confirmed that for my subconscious mind. So you need to go deeper. And that's why we say we are changing our beliefs stored in the subconscious mind. That's what we are targeting. That's why there's a lot of repetition included. That's the whole point of repetition. If repetition was not required, no one would be asking you to repeat and put in the work and put in the discipline to do it every day, just like gym. Okay, just like your medicines. So yes, it does come down to your self-worth, not what you're saying with your words, what your life experiences has been and what your subconscious mind actually knows as your truth. Okay, that is what your reality is, not what you're trying to say at a conscious level with your words. Manifestation, people usually come into this. We all know one of the big, big reasons is specific person and the second mostly could be money. Okay, these are usually the two things. And people forget to realize that this is actually a very big part of your healing journey. And if you're not ready to heal, and this I'm, I'm being very blunt as in all my videos, if you're not ready to heal in a way, I'm not, I don't really also like using the word healing a lot because it's again being overused a lot, right? But if you're not ready to let go of your past, drop the resentment, the grudges, the old story, okay, the old narrative, that is a part of your healing, right? If you're not ready to drop that and you are trying to persist in a new story, in a new narrative, with those 
grudges, that resentment, that anger, and the, those emotions still not processed, it's going to make your resistance double and triple. Okay, resistance is a real thing. I don't like... I don't like that whole notion that resistance is something you are creating in your mind. It does not exist. Just keep performing through it. Okay, resistance is a real thing. Why does it come up? It comes up because what you're trying to manifest now, what you're trying to affirm now, is opposite of what you have experienced in your life. So your mind, your subconscious mind kind of tries to oppose it. Okay, if tries to go against it, that I don't know what you're trying to say, I don't understand what you're trying to affirm, because we are not aware of this. See, this is what we are aware of. This is what your experiences have been up until now. And this is what we are familiar with. So what you're telling me right now is is completely new to me. It's new information. Like anything else, your subconscious mind needs to get used to that new information. Okay, so that's why that friction arises, where you feel the resistance in your stomach, in your chest, and it can manifest in different kind of ways. The resistance can make you procrastinate your techniques and your work. It can make you stop it right there and then. It can make you give up on manifestation. Conscious manifestation, okay? So manifestation is a really beautiful way to heal your past. And if you know you're not ready to heal your past, if you're not ready to drop the old story, this is not for you. Not in general, in life, but in that specific area around that specific person or object. Because what happens is, if you somehow were able to, uh, even with the resistance and the old story, but you focus a little more on the new story, you were able to somehow call it in. Those resentments, grudges, emotions, because they were unprocessed, because you did not heal them, because you did not actually sit with yourself and go through them and drop them. Before calling that person back in or calling that whatever you're trying to manifest, they will again come in between and the same old behavioral patterns will repeat. If you don't fix what is causing it, it's going to repeat in the same manner. Okay, so it's always going to be something coming in, you losing it again, then you're trying to put in all your focus and energy to call it back in. Okay, it's going to be like a repetitive cycle. It's exhausting. You are caught in a loop and ultimately you don't understand what's happening. Why is it coming then going and coming?